Stargate fans have been living in uncertainty for nine years. What exactly does MGM plan to do with 17 years of Stargate history and a restless fan base eager for something, anything, to happen with their favorite science fiction franchise? The sudden cancellation of Stargate Universe mid-story in 2011 left fans wandering aimlessly for years while a wishy-washy MGM has been everywhere from let's make new Stargate to hello, are you guys still alive? So it should come as no surprise that some fans of the show have grown tired of waiting and have decided to take matters into their own hands. A massive fan-based tweet event called Stargate Superdrive that will push for a fourth Stargate series is about to launch and you can be a part of it. It was created by a fan, but not just any fan. The upcoming tweet storm was organized by none other than Joseph Malazzi, a writer and executive producer on all three original Stargate series, and most recently known for creating the amazing Dark Matter TV series. According to Malazzi, Stargate Superdrive will hopefully be that final push to get a new Brad Wright Stargate series greenlit by MGM. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to watch our Stargate Superdrive trailer and get pumped up about how you can be part of this rare event. Malazzi and others participating in this online shout didn't come to this place lightly. Like many Stargate fans stuck in MGM's deadlights, Malazzi was dealing with his own inner horror with the franchise being in a constant state of limbo. He explained that after years of waiting, he grew as impatient as most Stargate fans for a new series. He knew he needed to get MGM's attention, and he had a plan on how to do it. But let's get back to that plan in a moment. How did we get here? How did one of the most successful television science fiction franchises of all time end up in what seems like an eternal purgatory? Stargate SG-1 was once listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as being the longest running continuous science fiction TV series running for 10 years before the title was taken away by Smallville in 2011. Stargate Atlantis was hugely popular and many felt it had been prematurely canceled and replaced by Stargate Universe. But the whole franchise came to a grinding halt when MGM filed bankruptcy and Stargate on television entered the Dark Ages. There are two videos that do a deep dive into why all this happened, and there will be links to those at the end of this video if you want to learn more. The point is that Stargate is a success story for MGM, and there was no reason for fans to believe the studio wouldn't get back on the Stargate horse when times were better. But during an interview with GateWorld in 2011, Elena Huffman, who played Tamara Johansson in Stargate Universe, explained that Brad Wright had tried very hard to put a movie together, but MGM post-bankruptcy was not interested in funding a Stargate movie that continued the TV series. This apathy toward the Stargate television series was confirmed during a Variety interview in 2016 with Jonathan Glickman, the president of MGM's motion picture group. During the interview, he recalled that when he ascended to his position in 2011, the Stargate property had been dormant and for lack of a better term, had played itself out at that moment. The message was loud and clear. MGM didn't have any plans for more Stargate on television, but no studio in their right mind is going to sit on a moneymaker, right? So in 2014, fans' hopes soared when MGM announced that they were rebooting the original Stargate movie with a plan to do multiple films. Unfortunately, these movies would not be based on the more than 340 hours of Brad Wright created Stargate television, but instead take the story in a new direction based on the two-hour movie from 1994. What? Fans of the television series were disappointed, but maybe it was possible that new movies could also ignite the flames of a new Stargate TV series. It's probably a good thing we didn't find out. A successful new movie franchise would likely take its premise to television, and the Brad Wright vision of Stargate would have likely been lost forever. So in 2016, the gods of canon spoke, and the rebooted movies were killed, with fingers pointing at the studio as being more concerned over cost than quality. Despite the setbacks, fans of a new Brad Wright-backed Stargate series could hope once again. 
Surely, MGM would go back to television now that the new movies were dead. Fans would only have to wait six months during Comic-Con San Diego 2017. Stargate fans got the news they had been waiting for. It was announced that Stargate Origins was coming to a new Stargate Command subscription service. The new series, described as webisodes, would essentially be a 10-episode feature-length movie broken into 10 episodes of 10 minutes. It wasn't a Brad Wright show, but it was new Stargate, and it was planning to take us back to a time before Colonel Jack O'Neill and Dr. Daniel Jackson came into the picture. In 2018, the World War II era Stargate Origins was launched with mixed reviews, but fans were eager for more stories. But for some reason, following the release of Origins, MGM started running silent. The Stargate Command streaming service was up and running and offered a one-stop shop for the fandom. It felt like a new start for the franchise. Not wanting to miss out on this opportunity, Malazzi organized his first massive tweet storm on March 9, 2018. The goal for that event, called Stargate Now, was to send a message to MGM that fans want a fourth Stargate series by creator Brad Wright. Participation in the Twitter storm was overwhelming. Armed with the hashtag Stargate Rising at MGM Studios, more than 100,000 tweets were sent, and it trended number one in Canada, France, and the United Kingdom, number two in the United States, and number seven worldwide. Amanda Tapping, Michael Shanks, Christopher Judge, Robert Picardo, and David Hewlett were only a few of the dozens of Stargate alums to join the Twitter storm. It was a transcendent moment for the fandom, with everyone coming together in one voice across the globe. And when the dust settled, surely that would be enough to convince MGM that Stargate fans weren't done with the franchise. Surely MGM would respond with, have no fear, Stargate will continue with Brad Wright at the helm. At the very least, they'll say, we hear you loud and clear, but there was nothing. If they saw Stargate trending worldwide on Twitter, they were staying quiet about it. As the months went by, Stargate Origins was looking like a one-trick pony, and Stargate Rising had peaked and was fading into the past. Then, unexpectedly, 10 months later in January 2019, Brad Wright told Nurks of the Hub podcast that he has been in contact with MGM about the Stargate brand. The man who had fathered Stargate in every iteration of the TV show until the cancellation in 2011 was back in the picture. Wright said that MGM realizes Stargate is a genuine franchise and they are taking it seriously. He said fans shouldn't expect a full-fledged new TV series anytime soon, but MGM seemed open to conversations and was receptive of his wish to honor the hundreds of hours of world building and television that had already been created. Wright's message to fans was that Stargate is an important part of the MGM library and they're working on it. It would seem that Malazzi and the Stargate fandom had indeed been heard by MGM. Then in May, Richard Dean Anderson told GateWorld that he hoped the series would return and that he was interested in being a part of it. While nothing is certain, especially after the closure of the Stargate Command streaming service, Malazzi is convinced that the franchise is so valuable to MGM that it is only a matter of time before they announce a new series. And with MGM smack dab in the middle of the streaming wars with Epics Now, a fourth Stargate series makes so much sense. The current mega tweet storm, Stargate Superdrive, is planned for Friday, December 6th and starts at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific. Malazzi feels now is the right time for MGM to be reminded that the fandom is out here and ready to support a new series with Brad Wright back at the helm. He knows Wright can craft a series that new viewers will enjoy while still paying tribute to everything that's come before. Dear MGM, this is a win-win. Pull the trigger. Sincerely, the Stargate fandom. If you are a Stargate fan and you want a fourth Stargate series, dust off your Twitter accounts or make a new one and join us at Popcast Guys, Malazzi at Baron Destructo, and at Stargate Now this Friday night. And if you love Stargate and other sci-fi shows and want all the latest information, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications on our next video. And if you love Stargate and want more, smash that like button and let's make sure MGM knows exactly how we feel. 
please share this video so we can make others aware of how they can participate in helping Stargate get a fourth series. Also, consider supporting our channel by purchasing this Stargate-inspired graphic tee using the code THEPOPCAST for 20% off so we can continue making more videos like this one. The link will be in the description below. And until next time, here's the Stargate Superdrive trailer. Mm-hmm. <laughs>